Greetings everyone! Welcome to our 19th and final video solution from the Fall 2020 Math 210 Final. We complete the exam with a differential equation. What a, there isn't a better way to end the course. Uh, and this time, to solve this differential equation, we're going to use a Fourier series to find just a particular solution. Now, in problem 18, we were able to find a Fourier series for the forcing function f of t given by this two periodic function here. So I'll just recall that the Fourier series for f of t is given by 4 over pi times the sum over odd n, and then we have sine n pi t over n. Okay, and we want to find a, a function y, okay, fine, which is a uh, and we want to give the Fourier series for it, which satisfies this differential equation. So the form of this suggests to us that we should be using a Y that only has sign terms and even probably sign terms in the just the odd components. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to assume Y has Fourier series. And we're going to do a sum just over the odd components. And then we're going to have some sort of a sub n uh, sine of n pi. Or we should use b sub n to keep the, the usual uh, uh, notation here consistent. Sine of uh, n pi t. So the reason why I'm going to assume that uh, first that the n is only odd is because in the when the n is even we know that the forcing function has zero coefficients and when we take derivatives we're not going to be changing the positions at all also because we're missing a y prime term we only have y double prime and y we're never going to be mixing uh, the coefficients from sine with the co with 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 cosines so it, it's reasonable to only have a sine Fourier series. So uh, if we do that, then we have 4 over pi times the sum over n odd. And OK, our coefficient is really 1 over n times sine of n pi t. And that's going to equal y double prime plus 2y. And now we can actually evaluate y double prime with this Fourier series. So when I take two derivatives, Sine is going to turn first into cosine and then negative sine. Each time I do it, I'm going to uh, have to use the chain rule and I'll get an extra n pi factor. So in total, I'm going to have, uh, well, there's a sum here, sum over n odd. And I'll have negative n squared pi squared, right? Because I, again, I pull out n pi twice using the chain rule times bn times the sine of n pi t. So that's my y double prime plus twice y, which, okay, I just take this original Fourier series and double the coefficients. So again, a sum over n odd twice bn sine of n pi t. Okay, if I put these together, then let's see, I have a sum still over n odd and uh, it looks like I have 2 minus n squared pi squared bn sine of n pi t. And at this point, it should become reasonably clear why I was able to restrict myself just to the odd uh, terms. Because, okay, again, on the left, when n is even, I get zeros. And so if I set 0 equal to this expression, well, we know that 2 is not going to equal n squared times pi squared. So that better mean, mean that bn is 0 in those cases. So it really was OK just to start with n being odd. All right, so when n is odd, we get, OK, on the left, the coefficient is 4 over pi times 1 over n. So 4 over pi n. And on the right side, the coefficient is 2 minus n squared pi squared times bn. And therefore, b sub n is 4 over pi times n times 2 minus n squared pi squared. And there we go. We found our bn's. I mean, it's just that simple. All right. So we put this together now. So our y is going to equal a sum over odd n. Our b sub n is going to be 4 over 
I could pull the four over pi out to match the other one, uh, perhaps, but uh, I'll just leave it all together. Four over pi n times two minus n squared pi n. Uh, sorry, pi squared, excuse me. Just need to copy it, right? Uh, and then we have sine of n pi t. And there we go. There is our Fourier series solution for the differential equation. And that's it. Congratulations, you've made it through the fall 2020 Matthew 10 final.